Hello everyone, this is PowerX64 and I'm back with another electronics review video. Um, so in this video we have a television. It's a JVC AV32D305. It's a um, 27 inch CRT TV uh, from 2004. This one I have, it, I mean, this one I have here has a issue with colors, but I still wanted to do a video looking over this TV and the features it has, some of the features it has, just because, I mean, I haven't done a video in a while since the Mavica review, and I have this here, and some people might like it, so. Uh, so this TV is an NTSC TV. It is... 120 volts, 60 hertz. It consumes 128 watts. It has a 27 inch tube and it's a standard definition TV, so it's just 480i resolution. And I have a third party remote that we're going to be using with it. So to begin, let's just turn it on. It's connected to a cable box right now using um, component sorry I mean composite that's what it looks like as I said there's an issue with the colors where it looks a little bit too blue so uh, you can't exactly can't exactly see the colors very well but other than that for a composite video signal it has a good amount of detail and it doesn't have dot crawl if we zoom in you can kind of see what I mean there. Because um, it's a CRT, it makes that really loud uh, whining noise. I don't know if that picks up on the camera. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. This is composite video, and when we switch it to component, I have a PlayStation 2 plugged in that we're going to be using to test to test the component input I just need one second to get the controller alright so I got the controller we're going to go into OPL and we'll see how this looks ignore my reflection we'll see how this looks with hmm, I'm not even sure what game I didn't really plan this video out but I mean I figured I have time on my hands so let's record it We'll see how this looks with some games. Uh, let's test it out in um, Need for Speed Underground 2, why not? That, that was a popular game at the time. The kind of thing you'd be playing on this TV. So this is using the component input. You can get a close look at what that looks like. I'm quite impressed because out of all the standard definition TV sets that I've used, this one is definitely the crispest. The only TV I have that gets close to this is a Panasonic EDTV, which came out one year after this. And it's a plasma, and it's 42 inches. Anyways, that's not what this video is about, so. Sorry if I can't capture the full detail of this with my camcorder, but. It's not, it's not bad for, I'm not really driving too well, it's not bad for standard definition in my opinion. Um, I don't really know what other games to test this with, and being 480i, we can't really test 480p, like Burnout has 480p, like my Panasonic TV supports that, but this does not. So yeah, I mean, you can have your own opinions on this. Again, you can see the colors look awful. I mean, in, in person it's a bit better, but then my camera makes it look even worse. The colors don't look good on this, and I think it's a problem with the with this specific set. So that's a limitation, but I, I don't know what to do about that. So I just live with it. You get used to it once you stare at it for a long time. Yeah. That's this game. 
what I'm going to do now is switch back over to the to the set top box and I'm going to go into the media center and we're going to look at some pictures and videos on the screen this is where you show your analog channels but um, I don't have that set up and here's what the menu looks like have some options in here I have tried messing with these this is as good as I can get this thing to look something is wrong with something somewhere and it doesn't look too great but I mean given that I got it for free I'm happy with it alright so on the TV can just go into the here no that's not the right place uh, go into here alright so I've put some songs pictures and videos on on a USB drive and put them into the box so we can see what's here so here are some pictures I grabbed from my PC um, so you can kinda get an idea it's not displaying them properly but there's not much I can do and this is in 480i so there's a little bit of dot crawl yes I made this image with AI it's a dog with a flag and just some me messing around. Yeah, I really wish I could capture this better, but this camera has its limitations. Uh, yeah, the colors look terrible. Again, I don't think it's the TV's fault. I think it it is a problem with the board. The grass looks very vibrant in this one, but everything else is lacking in color. I have a lot of these pictures. I'm just going to go through them and I mean, it's not the worst. Again, I think I have worse CRTs than this, but it's also not the best. I think he captured the colors in this picture okay, like the desk, but everything else again has this blue tinge and looks all washed out. too many of these. Let's just go to something like uh, this. That's my phone there. I mean, it's a decent amount of detail for component video. I mean, composite. I keep getting the two mixed up. When, whenever I say component, I'm most likely referring to composite. Only the PS2 footage was done on component. Yeah, those are some of my pictures. For video, I put one video on here, which might seem familiar to some of you. But yeah, that's my camera review video from a month or two ago being played on this TV. Again, not being displayed properly, it's a 4x3 screen. I'm going to just turn on the lights. Yeah, it's a 4x3 screen. And the video is supposed to be in 4x3, but when I edited it, it had these black bars, so it's a bit s squished, but you can see. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward this a little bit. Alright, there you go. That's the um, desktop when I switched to the desktop. You can see the with the Windows XP wallpaper there acts as a good reference, and you can see it's handling the colors of that okay. It's only, I think it's mostly the red colors that it struggles with. The blue and green seem to be okay. That object behind the battery is pink, but as you can see on the camera, it does not have any color at all. It looks black and white, which is a mix of the camera and the fact that the colors on this TV are not as good as they're supposed to be. That, yeah, that looks pretty washed out. It's interesting, I'm using the footage from a camera review now to review a TV. Yep. 
yeah. And then, of course, I want to test the speakers, so I put some some of my songs I made a few years ago on here, so we could hear the speakers. I don't want it to be too loud, so I disturb people. You have a hyper surround thing that you can turn on. But I personally prefer how it sounds without that. I find that it makes vocals very drowned out, the hyper surround option, so I keep it off. Uh, we're gonna do some more testing of the sound, I'm just being careful not to disturb anyone. Okay, let's try the next song. Oh, yeah, my camera's starting to run out of film now, or space. Okay, let's hurry up and try the next song. I'm pretty sure none of these are copyrighted because I made them in, like, 2021 and just used them on my channel, so... Really scared. Yep. Uh, one more, and then I'm gonna have to do the conclusion real quick. So, the video ended kind of abruptly because my camera just gave an access error after it finished recording, which is, it didn't even get to finish recording, it just, I was talking about the sound quality and then it just cut off and said access error. So, I've marked that disc as being faulty and I've recovered the video as much of it as I could. So, I'm here to give the conclusion. Um, this TV, I think it's really good. Um, if you ignore the color issue, which isn't really the fault of the TV, it's something is wrong with the capacitor or something causing it to do that. But if we ignore the color issue, um, it's very good for a standard definition TV. And it's actually, it's actually known as one of the best consumer CRT TVs available at the time, so I see why. It looks very crisp and in some cases it looks almost HD. So, um, that claim, compared to the CRTs I've used, it definitely looks the best out of all of them. The only TV I have that beats it is the Panasonic, which 
It's a plasma EDTV from like 2005. So yeah, that's my conclusion on this little review video of the JVCD series. And thanks for watching. Bye.